Hi, psychology students. I'm Claire Lobdell, the distance education librarian at GCC, and I'm going to go over how to find and use sources for your research summary papers. So the criteria for this project are that you need to choose a topic you study in class. So a good idea if you're having trouble thinking of something is to look in your textbook. Um, it should be published within the last 10 years, but doesn't absolutely have to be. You have to choose primary research and that primary research must be from a peer reviewed scholarly journal. So primary research um, means that the people who wrote the article are the same people who did the research they're writing about. When you look at an article about primary research, you'll see sections in the article with headings like methods where the authors talk about how they designed the research, um, a section called results in which they so show some statistical analysis of the outcomes of their study. And if you don't see these headings in your article, it's probably not primary research. Also, again, your article has to be from a peer reviewed scholarly journal. So here's an example of what that looks like. Um, so these articles almost always start with a short section called an abstract, which may or may not be labeled. Um, it's a good idea to read a few abstracts and choose an article that really interests you. Um, these papers tend to be pretty dense and technical, but some are more dense and technical than others. And the abstract will give you a pretty good sense of how challenging the rest of the article will be. Um, like I said before, if it's primary research, there should be a methods section and a results section. In this one, even the abstract has the methods and results section. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's the methods and then further down would be the results. Okay. Um, so it's important to realize that not everything that gets published in an academic journal is actually primary research. So here are some of the types of articles you're gonna find in a scholarly journal. There are commentary or opinion pieces or editorials, and those are someone's opinion on a topic or on the field, but are not primary research. There are meta-analyses where researchers look at lots of different studies that have been done previously about a particular topic, and they combine the results of those previous studies and do new statistical analysis. So that is primary research. Case studies are write-ups of unusual situations, often with just a single participant or small group of patients. Um, the authors try to describe all the circumstances about the patient's care, but there's no experimental design. And so this is not primary research. There are review articles that are um, usually a look at the history or current status of a particular topic or field of study. And these are kind of similar to the types of term papers that you might do in your classes. Um, these are not primary research. There are experimental studies, um, which are where researchers design an experiment, try to control all the variables and test one or two independent variables. Um, so for example, this might be like a study that uses an MRI to look at the brains of people with bipolar disorder and see how they react to certain stimuli. Um, experimental studies are primary research. Another type of primary research are observational studies where researchers look at a population and collect information on factors affecting that population. So this could be, for example, a study that would look at um, PTSD and alcoholism among veterans. And just to review, meta-analyses, experimental studies, and observational studies are all different types of primary research. I would recommend that you look for articles in this one database called Psychology and Social Sciences Collection. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. I'm already signed into it, so when I click on that link, I go right in here, but um, you'll usually be taken to a sign-in page first where you have to put in your library barcode number and password. Um, I'm gonna look up information about borderline personality disorder, um, and you'll see when I start typing in letters, it will suggest different search terms. I'm gonna choose that one, borderline personality disorder or BPD. And then I'm also gonna look up um, teenagers and adolescents or young adults. Now this database um, has a lot of stuff in it, but it also has a lot more, um, it indexes a lot more articles than are actually in full text. So if I wanna limit what I'm seeing to just full text, I can click this box that says full text. 
It also has articles from magazines and newspapers and things that aren't scholarly peer reviewed journals. So I can click this box to limit it, my result to just scholarly peer reviewed articles. Um, and if I want, I can also limit the date range of what I'm seeing either by moving this slider um, or by typing in the date range that I wanna look at. Um, another thing to note, when you click on the title of an article, you're not actually gonna see the full article itself automatically. You'll see that abstract, that summary of the article. But if you wanna see the full article, you're gonna to have to click where it says either PDF full text or HTML full text. Also, you can email the article to yourself from here or get the citation for it and make sure that you're getting the APA citation that you need to use in your references page for this class. So one final thing to note, um, when you are writing an APA format, you include the full citation in that references page at the end of your paper. And then when you're um, writing about the paper in the text of your paper, you use an in-text citation, which is the author's last name and year. You can either, you can do that a couple different ways. You can either, you know, include the author's name in your sentence. So like, for example, Becker 2021 discusses the psychology of college students in Western Massachusetts, or you can just talk about the article and then include the in-text citation at the very end of the sentence, like college students in Western Massachusetts share similar psychological traits to their urban counterparts. And then in parentheses at the end, Becker comma 2021. And that's it. You don't include the author's first names. You don't include the journal titles when you're talking about them. You just talk about the last name and year, last name or last names if it's a, a study with more than one author. Um, if your reader is interested in the full information about that article, they go to your references page and that's where they see it. So if you need help with anything or want to chat, please get in touch with me. I'm happy to work with you on this. You can also email your um, papers before you turn them in and I can check over to make sure that you've gotten the APA formatting correctly. And uh, good luck with your research.